Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Philly cheese steak doggies. All right, I'm starting out here. I have two large onions and two green bell peppers. I'm going to slice up thin. And I'm doing this on my stove tonight because my counter, we just got back from shopping, and my counter is uh, full of stuff that won't fit in the cupboard. All right, now that I have my peppers and onions all sliced up, in my large skillet here, I'm going to put a little, little bit of olive oil in there. And I always use the regular olive oil. Extra virgin is just, just too strong. All right. Now, spread this around in here. And I'm going to fry my peppers and onions in there just till they get soft and sweat it through. And I'm going to put a lid on this to help speed up that process. Spoon. Separating the onions so they cook quicker. And for anyone who doesn't know what a dogie is, a dogie is pretty much two pizza shells filled with whatever you want to put in between them. I have also have a cold dogie recipe I made video out there with lunch meat in it and uh, tomato and lettuce and stuff. It's like a pizza hoagie. So I'm going to get these covered up here and I'm going to let these cook over medium low heat so it's down and then I'll be back. Right now that my peppers and onions are sweated down, that's about 10 minutes. I'm going to move them to one side of the pan for now. And I have uh, some sandwich steakums, the, the uh, frozen thin sliced steaks. This is a 14 pack. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tumble them all in there. I want to break them up into pieces. And you don't have to get fancy, it don't have to be perfect. Get them out of there. All right, now I have my steaks all broke up here. I'm going to give this a stir. And I'm going to fry this with the cover off. And I just want to fry it so these steaks get cooked through, which won't take long because they're really thin sliced. And while they're frying, I'll stir them periodically, and I'm going to clean up my stove here while I'm waiting for my steaks to fry through. Okay, now that my uh, steaks are all fried through, they're cooked through, I have thin pizza shells here, and you want to make sure you get the thin for this. You don't want the thick ones. These are pre-made. So I'm going to put one down, and I'm going to scoop some of my uh, steak, pepper, and onion mixture in them. And I'm making two doggies tonight, so they'll take four pizza shells. And I just want to spread this out evenly over top of this. And I want to save about the same amount for the second one. Alright. And this is something different and something quick. Because it's after uh, 7 o'clock Saturday night here. And uh, I work tomorrow, so I want to make something quick. Now that I have that down... I'm making one with mushrooms and one without because my son Eric does not like mushrooms. He wouldn't touch it if they were in. So I have two four-ounce cans of mushrooms. I'm going to spread them out on top of the uh, dogie. And um, I drain these. And I'm thinking maybe one can would have been enough, but this would be extra mushroomy. And if you're going to eat yours with mushrooms, you can either put fresh mushrooms in with the peppers and onions or... You can warm this through right in with your meat mixture towards the end. But like I says, Eric won't touch mushrooms, so I gotta improvise. Alright. My hands are wiped here with a towel. Okay, now I have a four cup pack of shredded cheddar cheese here. I'm gonna add that on there. You can use any kind of cheese you like. Provolone would go good with this also. And I'm gonna put about two cups on this one and two cups on the other one. Spreading it around. And I'm going to put my other pizza crust on top. Press that down. And I'm going to put this in a 400 degree oven, this one and the other one that I make. For roughly, probably about 10 or 15 minutes till everything melts through. The cheese melts and the pizza crust get kind of uh, crispy. All right, these are done. They went for 12 minutes. Six minutes into it, I rotated them on the shelves in the uh, oven because uh, I used the top and the middle rack, and the middle rack's hotter than the top of my oven, so I rotated them so they would bake evenly. And I let these sit for just a few minutes 
the setup a little bit. So let's go ahead and cut into these. And this is the one with the uh, mushrooms on it because uh, Eric's taking a siesta. He worked today, so he'll be eating later. All right, let's go ahead and plate this up and see what we got. All right, there you have it. Philly cheese steak doggies. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see you.